We are here with our BBR Week 7 match versus T-Row and his Columbus Cobalions. Make sure you guys check them out in the description down below and check out all the other BBR coaches. Um, first off, I want to say this is win or go home. Not really. But we need to win to clinch playoffs. If we don't win, then we have to win Week 8. But I really, really want to win this so going into Week 8 we can have kind of a more chill week. Um, obviously, I want to win, but um, we really, really, really just want to clinch those pl the playoff spot with this W versus T row. Also, disclaimer: um, the battle video. This is after the um, match. I'm recording this after the match, but I realized in my recording, I had recently just moved my stuff around to my desk room, and there's like nothing in this room, so it's super echoey in here. So during the match, it's going to sound kind of echoey, and during this recording, probably. Um, We'll see if I can get that fixed in the future, but for now it's not a huge issue. But if it's super echoey and it's like, you know, unable to listen, like you really, really are struggling to listen to my my commentary, I will definitely fix it. So let me know in the comment section section down below um, how unbearable the uh, echo sounds. Let's go ahead and look at my matchup. So T Row has Iron Valiant, Hasumi and Samurai, Dragonite, Metagross, Sandy Shocks, Zarud, Hasumi and Typhlosion, Serena. Assuming Braviary, Ursaring, and Swalla. A whole lot of Assuming Pokemon. Um, I, I love I love all the Assuming forms, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a huge Cleavor believer, obviously. But that Pokemon, you know, it's from the Asui region, so. But let's go ahead and just get this out of the way. Iron Valiant is so scary. <laughs> so, so scary. And you can see on my screen, um, my main way to beat that Pokemon is my Assault Vest Great Tusk. Now... Um, Assault Vest, Great Tusk, has Headlong Rush, Rabbit Spin, Ice Spinner, CC. We have enough speed to outspeed a Suing Samurai, and then we have enough Bedeft where we never get Oko'd by a Moonblast from Iron Valiant. Um, if we can just get a little bit of chip on that Pokemon, which you can see below my Greninja set with Water Shuriken is probably the chip we need, um, then we can Oko with a Headlong Rush. Because Iron Valiant has like a lot of defense. It's like 95 or something stupid. Um, why give that Pokemon a good defense stat? I don't know, but it, it, it can live. Like, I do 68% with a headlong rush, so, um, Bruno Fernandez, our captain, hopefully can, hopefully can live. I'm assuming booster speed Valiant, because if not, then my booster speed Moth would outspeed, and that Pokemon goes bananas, goes crazy into t Rose team if he is not booster speed Valiant. Next up, we are going to talk about our Greninja. We outspeed everything, not Scarfed or booster speed Valiant. Um, you turn Water Shirk and Dark Pulse Ice Beam. Expert Belt is good for Ice Beam. Um, for Dragonite, it's good for Dark Pulse because then I assume an Assault Vest Metagross could come into me. But Expert Belt, Dark Pulse, it's a whole lot of damage regardless. Um, the worst thing on this is that my best way to hit uh, Masui and Samurai is U turn. Um, but if we can get some chip on that Pokemon, it should be okay. Um, Battle Bond Grin obviously does good in this matchup. It can kind of ch it can win the game late game if I position myself position myself correctly. Next though, we do have the um, actual win con choice specs Iron Moth with Fiery Dance, Sludge Wave, U-Turn, D Gleam. Um, this Pokemon outspeeds everything, not Scarfed again, and then also not Iron Valiant. So if everything gets whittled down, this guy just claims KOs. Fiery Dance, um, Sludge Wave, U-Turn, Dazzling Gleam. Um, this Pokemon does really well if I can get Rock up with Cleavor, which I'll talk about. Um, the last Pokemon, but Iron Moth has been so fun to use. Probably my favorite Pokemon on this team, other than Terra Belly Bolt. Um, th those two Pokemon have been two of my favorite Pokemon to use so far. Um, next, let's talk about Terra Fairy Belly Bolt. We are Terra Fairy. We don't get too KO'd by um, Dragonite. Um, the whole thing with this set in Mox, shout out to John for the help. Um, we did Mox with John, like per usual. Um, also, shout out to Blazeman. I'm not 100% sure if Blazeman helped me with this team, but Blazeman helps me a lot, and so does Killa. So, shout out to them. Um, but Belly Bolt with Heavy Duty Boots, this Pokemon's going to be switching in, a lot, switching in a lot, and I could see a Hazard Stack Sandy Sharks come against me, um, or even Rocks, Metagross, so. Um, the worst thing with this is that I'm Terra Fairy, meaning IV, Iron Valiant, um, no, what I'm talking about, Metagross, Metagross can Bullet Punch me and stuff, but Toxic Slack Off, Volt Switch, Terra Blast, we have enough defense, like I said, where we don't get to a KO'd by a Dragonite. Next, we have the Dalot, the Grimstar with Expert Belt. I love running Expert Belt, guys. Um, Expert Belt with T-Wave, Reflect, Spirit Break, and Crunch. Expert Belt is nice. We're running a lot of speed. We also speed a Metagross trying to creep us. Um, we always 2 a KO that guy. And then Spirit Break is super, super clutch for special attack drops on the Assuming Bravier and Sandy Shocks. Also, I'm sorry if my laptop sounds like it's about to explode. It's super, super loud right now. Um, 
But either way, this Pokemon does put some work for us, hopefully. We have one screen reflect. That is for D-Knight. Um, that is for Zarud if it comes. Um, also for uh, Suing Samurai. But mostly for the Dragonite. This is a very good release. Like a... Uh, just... I can't remember the word. Like uh, It's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm getting beat by Dragonite. I send this in. I can reflect. I can Thunder Wave that guy. I can also Spirit Break it. So, kind of scared of a weakness policy set. So, I'll probably Thunder Wave then reflect um, if it comes down to that. But, that's okay. Last, we have the Choice Scarf Cleavor. It can help prevent a D-Knight after Multiscale is broken. Also, rocks are amazing. Especially if that D-Knight is not Heavy Duty Boots. Um, because then it will break Multiscale. So, Ari Aerial Ace hits Iron Valiant. We blow that Pokemon sideways um pause and then um u-turn is nice for suing samrot good for pivoting out on his pokemon um Stonax is nice for the suing braviary he's terra electric and terra flying so i mean it still does a whole lot of damage if he's terra electric so um yeah this good this is going to be my team for um bbr week seven we need this w i want to clinch playoff guys i've been doing so well i'm four and two um, can we make it to 5-2? and two? You will find out here in just a second. This is a must win versus T-Row and his Columbia's Cobalion. Co Sorry. Um, this is week 7 of the BBR. We are 4-2. and two. We win. We clinch playoffs. If we lose, then we had to win versus Astro in week 8. But let's have fun. 2 T-Row. Let's get this W, guys. Let's get this W. We are leading off with our Terra Belly Bolt. And we're going to get that Terra off immediately. We see no... Um, what Pokemon did he not bring that we saw in Mox? No Sandy Shocks, which is actually crazy. I thought Sandy Shocks always came, but yeah, look at fun. 2T row. Let's get this W. Before we go any further, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. My end of the year goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers so I can be monetized. Making money off of Pokemon content is the dream, so please help me reach that dream. t row is going to lead off with his Hisuian Samurai. This is a perfect lead for us um, because we're going to Terra and then click Terra Blast because... His best switch in is going to be a Metagross. We can also just... Actually, we can also just Vol Switch here. We're just going to Terra and Vol Switch. Do we need a Terra? Do we need a Terra? Yes, we do. We need a Terra so we are not weak to... Um, Ground-type moves. We are going to see him stay in. This might be a flip turn. This might be a flip turn. We're going to do some calcs here. And let's see if a, he could be banded flip turn, maybe. But flip turn should be doing 17 to 20%. So... He stays in here and clicks Cecil's Edge. That is crazy. Volt Switch will be doing 70-40. He just clicked Flip Turn. That does... Takes me to 341. I'm at 81%. He did... Yeah, he did that much damage. Okay, cool. Cool. All we find out is that he was... Um... Attacked. Is this the Iron Valiant? No, I was like, what? His Iron Valiant is nicknamed Hunter Part 3. So we get the Volt Switch off. That is some big damage. Big damage. And now we can just go into our Greninja if we would like. We can also go into Grimmsnarl. We can go into Iron Moth. I think we don't go Iron Moth now. Because if we go into Iron Moth now, and he's uh, Aquaberry, that could be bad. Um, but then Greninja, Greninja can live any one hit. So we're going to go into this. I also might U-turn here. But his switch into this is not the best, to be honest. Um, maybe an Assault Vest Serena. But he would have to be scared of an Ice Beam. <laughs> So, I think here, what I'm going to do... Now, Vol Switch damage shows that he is not... He's at about... He took a lot from that. I don't think he's max HP. He took a lot from that Vol Switch. He might be max HP, but either way... A Dark Pulse should pick up the KO here. Um, and we should not die to any one hit. So, we're going to click Dark Pulse. This thing might drop, we're going to see. We do see a Switch. He does not have a good Switch into this. He does not... Iron Valiant is his best thing. It's going to be the Suing Samurai, so I should have U-turned there, but that's fine. Um, do we die to a... Do we die to a Sacred Sword? I assume we do. Yeah, we do. So what we're going to do here is go back into our Terra, terra Belly Bolt. Um, that's probably our best switch, because we don't want to risk Scarf here. Because if he is Scarf, and he clicks Sacred Sword, or if he clicks... Or yeah, if he's Scarf and Sacred Sword, he kills us. So, we don't want to risk the U-turn. So, um, we, see, we see a Ceaseless Edge. Okay. So, he's going to do no damage here. What we can do here is just click Vols. We get the static. Let's go. Big static. Big static. Let's go, Terra Belly Bolt. Jesus, I'm all... Discombobulate. Discombobulate. Um, but, yeah. We just get a very free, very free full switch. We can also slack off here. 
Um, but I think Volt Switch is the best play. I think Volt Switch is the best play. Letting our Belly Bolt get um, down isn't the best because a assuming Braviary can put in work against us. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm not running speed on this guy. So I'm not trying to outspeed a Braviary. Um, but I am running speed on my Grim Snarl to outspeed a slow Metagross. Guys, I'm an expert about Grim Snarl. Like, if you guys watch Team Builder, maybe. Maybe. It's it's connected to this video. Why wouldn't you watch it? Um, but, but, let's get this W, guys. Let's get this W. I really, really, really want this W. Really want this W. Um, he's going to switch. This is a very free full switch. Probably going to see Metagross. It is Metagross again. Cool. Um, at this point, this thing is very, very chipped. Does it die to an Iron Moth? Does it die to Iron Moth at this at this range? If he is Aka. 62 to 73. That looks that's in range. I can also just go into this and click U-turn. Um Yeah. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. Because we do outspeed that um We do outspeed the Suing Samurai now, even if it is scarfed. So because it is static. So we can just get a very free Dark Pulse off here. Um, if he gives me Battle Bond, then that's good for me. That's good for me. Iron Valiant might be a switch, but that, because Iron Valiant puts me in a weird spot, um, because Terra Belly Bolt is chipped. So, at that point, I think I would just Water Shirk in it. But Dark Pulse does 14 to 16 to that, so we could U-turn. We could U-turn here. Um, but I think Dark Pulse is the play. He could give me this guy. He's going to switch. So U-turn was definitely the play there. U-turn was definitely the play there, that's fine. Um, we can just U-turn this next play. This next time. I don't know if he's in range. I don't know if he's in range after this. He's at about 51-ish. That's probably 51-ish. Uh, I do 38 to 46. We just U-turn. We just U-turn. Get some big damage off. Yeah, we take him down super low. And at this point, we can go into, into our Terra Belly Bolt. Um, we could also go into Grim Snarl, to be honest. Um, but I don't want Grimstone taking chip because they bullet punch from a Metagross. Does how much damage? It does 48 to 58. Mm, and Samurai Asui does a lot of damage. I think I go into my into this. He I think he flip turns here. I think he flip turns here. Mm, I think my best bet is going to Terra Belly Bolt. We're gonna see what happens. I don't like taking that uh that spike, but I should have slacked off to be honest instead of full switch. I forgot we were having to do boots. I'm at 175. I'm at 175. He has to go into his Metagross at this point. Which I think at that point, that puts me in a weird spot. Puts me in a really weird spot since I did Terra turn one. Um, maybe I shouldn't have Terrasalized. I really didn't need a Terra. Me Terra, me Terrasalizing put me in a really bad spot. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have. But... If this Minigross is like a, um, but we're going to see what he goes into first. We're going to see what he goes into first. But Minigross, let's, let's just make sure. What does Minigross learn? It learns Iron Defense. It learns, it doesn't learn Bulk Up. It doesn't learn Swords Dance. So, the Iron Defense is on me. That puts me in a weird spot. But Greninja can always revenge it. So, actually, I, I think I'm okay. Um, this is going to be the Assuming Braviary. Okay. So, obviously, if he's Terra Flying, he's going to nuke all of my Pokemon. <sighs> so, the best bet... Belly Bolt does really well in this matchup, but I let it get chipped super early. Super early. Um, hmm. Can I live a Dragonite hit? I think I can live any Dragonite hit. Let me make sure. Yeah, even if it's Iron Head... I'm just 38 to 45. I'm at 41. So, maybe... Maybe I just click. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. Braviary Sui. I think if I sack this, I can still can I still beat D Knight is the question. Um, I think I can still beat D Knight. So I think I'm gonna click Slack off here. Um he could miss a hurricane if this is Terra Flying. Um John brought Terra Electric in Mox, so we're gonna see if I just threw this Pokemon away. Um, this is Terra Electric. Okay, let's see if we live a hit. This is this is Esper Wing. Um, we he's Life Orb Modest and he does kill us. Um, we see Agility, so this is not the worst for us. Um, 
Hmm. I think we just toxic this turn then. I think we just toxic this turn because now we can live anyone hit. It is agility. What is that? Grimstar can always T wave that guy. So I'm going to click toxic this turn. Yes. We're going to click toxic. Hopefully this doesn't sub. We see Hurricane and he does lamb. This shouldn't kill. It doesn't kill. He gets confusion. Please, God. Billy Bolt. Don't hurt yourself in confusion. Please. He is life orb. Please. Please, Billy Bolt, I beg you. I beg you, please hit this Toxic. We get the Toxic off. Nice, nice. So Life Orb plus Toxic damage is nice for us. Um, since he has Life Orb... Um, let's see. Life Orb, Hurricane to 63 to 75. No, 129. 31%. If it looks Esper Wing... Hmm... Since I clicked that, I think I think actually my uh, my Grimstar can live anyone hit. So I'm gonna click Slack off here. I'm gonna click Slack off here. Hmm. Yeah, we click Slack off here. If he has to click Hurricane, he, he hits the Hurricane. T Row has not hit that many Hurricanes in his life. <laughs> T Row has not been hitting Hurricanes. If he missed, then I was in a really good position. Buy Terrible Bolt. I'm sorry. Kills Belly Bolt. Who's going to take Life Orb and Toxic Damage? So I have to go Grimmsnarl. Terra Electric. So he has the... Mm, let's think. If he's 2v2 HP. Crunch has 31 to 37. Does Iron Moth die? It does die, obviously. Um, I just go... So if he's plus 2 speed... Mm, my... Uh, Cleavor doesn't outspeed. Hmm. I have to go into my Grimmsnarl. And just get damage because then I am able to revenge with Water Shuriken Greninja, I think, at that point. Because he's also going to take um, damage. I could also. Can I go to. Hmm, hmm, this puts me in a weird spot. This puts me in a really weird spot. I don't think even AV. Yeah, AV Tusk does not live. So we go Grimstarl here. We're going to take a spike. But we should live. We should live. This is just 57 to 68. We should live this. We should live this. Um, we just click, I think our hardest hitting attack is what? We could Spirit Break to get a special attack drop. Is that worth it? Or do we need the damage? I think we need the crunch. Uh, we only do 2% more. So I think we're okay with clicking Spirit Break here. I think we're okay with, with clicking Spirit Break. Um, if he's Roost, that's fine. Roost, Life Orb with Toxic Damage would be a bit odd. He misses the Hurricane, that is good for us. Let's go, you hit two in a row. We get the miss though. And we're going to click Spirit Break and we're going to lower your special attack. So, yep, and you should, you almost might go down to toxic damage, to be honest. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, that kind of sucks for us, because now we're risking more damage. Um, is he just mono hurricane? I don't know why you wouldn't click and just attack him over there. You didn't have a chance to kill me. So, here, do I click reflect? I can click reflect here. Um, I can click reflect here, I think. Because there's no chance, there's no point in attacking it. So we just click reflect. We just click reflect. Um, we get the reflect off, which is nice. We're gonna see if he's roost. Roost would be kind of odd with this set. Um, he is hurricane and he misses another hurricane. I'm sorry, T Row. Two, you hit two, you miss two. But still, that definitely sucks. Billy Bolt does get a kill actually because it killed him with toxic damage. So Billy Bolt kills Braviary Hisui. I am sorry about those misses though, T Row. Um, obviously you hit two, but like, dude. Still missing, missing still sucks. I don't care what anyone says. Like missing a hurricane still sucks. Um, like you run the move, you know, you're probably gonna miss a couple, but missing two after hitting two consecutively definitely would suck. Um, huh. Hopefully we can win this game now that Belly Bolt's gone, because Belly Bolt was uh, put it, put in the work in mocks. So me throwing that away was not the best thing. I definitely should have slacked off on the turn that I bull switched. Um, and then pivoted a different way. We see Power Roll. Is this the Serena? Okay. So Serena comes out. What is Serena going to do to me? I have Reflect Up. What does this Pokemon do to me? Does this Pokemon get Source Dance? What does this Pokemon hit me with? I'm scared now. It gets... Does it get Reflect? It gets Reflect. Um, I think... I'm very speedy. I think I just clicked Crunch here. I think I just clicked Crunch here. 
I could also pivot out into my Iron Moth. But I think Crunch is just the best bet. We're going to click Crunch, see what he decides to go for. He clicks Knock Off, so he's going to knock off our Expert Belt. Um, we are not Light Clay. Expert Belt may suck, but are losing it? Yeah, we do no damage. Is that Rocky Helmet? That is Rocky Helmet. Jesus. Um, we're going to go ahead. Do I need a T-Wave this thing? All of my other Pokemon outspeed it. Maybe we just... Maybe we just click Thunder Wave. We can also now go into... I think we can go into our Iron Moth pretty freely. I think we can go into our Iron Moth pretty, pretty freely. Um, this Pokemon learns Rock Slide. Stone Edge. Nope, does it learn Earthquake? No, does it learn any ground move? It learns Zen Headbutt. If he's in Headbutt, it's my Dark type. That would be crazy. Um, we're going to take a Spike. But this puts us in a good position. This puts us in a really good position. So we're going to go into our Iron Moth. We're going to see what he decides to do. He stayed in. This could be a U-turn. If it's U-turn, then he could go into his Booster Speed Moth. But I think, we, I mean, like a Psychic does a lot of damage to us. Um, we obviously take a Spike. Let's see what he decides to go for. Rapid Spin. Okay, cool. So he's going to outspeed us now. But I don't think you... So we should have Thunder Wave there. We should have Thunder Wave there. Um, I don't think you kill us and then one hit. I mean, I, I think I'm okay with just clicking... Um, you turn us 24 or 29. I could also D-Gleam calling the uh, D-Night switch. I think D-Gleam might be the play. I think D-Gleam is definitely my best bet. If you go Metagross on, on this, that'd be crazy. But I think D-Gleam is very, 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 very free. Very, very free. Um, we do 49 to 57 to this guy. And he does outspeed us, though. That might be... Hmm. I think he just clicks U-turn here. So we're going to click D-Gleam. I don't know what tech this thing gets. Does this thing get acrobatic or... It just gets Zen Headbutt. Do we die to a Zen Headbutt? We have a Reflect Up, right? Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure real quick. Wrong thing. Ah! We still have a Reflect Up. Zen Headbutt is 40 to 47. We just click Dazzling Gleam. He does switch out. Hopefully we catch the D-Knight. Hopefully we catch the D-Knight. This is just going to be assuming Samurai sat. So he doesn't know our set. Cool, cool. So we kill the Assuming Samurai. Crit did not matter. <laughs> Iron Moth kills. Or dies to Iron Moth. Let's do that. Dies to Iron Moth. Let's see what he decides to go for here. Because D Knight. D Knight, obviously, with Wood Scale, he can Earthquake me. We Dragonite. If he's Weakness Policy, that might be a set. That might be the, what he goes into. And since we don't have the. Uh, this is Dragonite, right? That is Dragonite. Since we don't have our. Um, one guy, I think we go hard into our Cleavor, actually. We have Reflect for one more turn, I believe. We do. Okay, I can also go hard into my Grimmsnarl. I don't want Grimmsnarl taking any type of chip. So, we're going to go straight into this. If he Iron Heads this turn, how much damage do we take? 34 to 40. I'm going into my Garnacho. We have Reflect up one more turn. We're going to see what he decides to go for. We're going to see what he decides to go for. Cleavor, we do 52 to 62. Um, if he gets the plus one attack, no reflect up, each Iron Head would kill us. So, he clicks Earthquake here. We should chew. We should chew. We don't chew comfortably, but we do chew because of Reflect. Um, here, I think, is a turn we U-turn. The try not to pop his weakness policy. We U-turn out, and we go into our Great Tusk. Probably. He could also go into his... Uh, Iron Valiant this turn, if he does. I know he likes switching his Iron Valiant. We could have air release, but this is probably Metagross. It is Metagross. Cool. So, we're going to click U-turn on this. Get some decent jam damage. Is it we do see Rocky Helmet? No, we don't. Cool. Um, we can go into our Greninja now. I don't know. Do we go Greninja or do we go into our um, Great Tusk? If he's Cussed That Berry, we don't go Great Tusk. I think Cussed That Berry could be... Very detrimental, actually, in this in this instance. So I think we go into this. And we click water. Oh, sorry, my phone just fell. Um, I think we go into this and we click Water Shuriken. He's shown that he's a very physically defensive Serena. So I think, actually, if he's max HP, we do have Ice Beam. I think we're okay. We go Greninja. We put him in a bad spot. Um, I think... I don't think... I don't know if... I don't think Water Shuriken does anything. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think... I think if he's... If he's Brick Break here, and he's Custat Berry, uh, he's definitely getting his Custat Berry, and he kills us. 
which would be very good prep on his part. And at that point, I go Iron Moth. Um, puts me in a really tricky situation, but I think I just click Dark Pulse here. I think Dark Pulse is my play. We're just going to click Dark Pulse. Yeah, we click Dark Pulse. Um, if he goes hard Iron Valiant, then I probably just Water Shirk going to get damage. Probably just Water Shirk going to get damage. Um, if he switches out here and he is cussed out, he's going to be saving that for the Iron Moth. I, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Um, but if he just kills me here, then our Iron Moth can come in. Um, I don't know if a D-Gleam would kill that guy, though. Because I'd probably want to lock D-Gleam. We're going to see what he decides to do. We're going to see. We are going to see. He is going to switch. Let's see what this is. Let's see if this is a Serena Sack or if this is Iron Valiant. It is Iron Valiant. Okay, we're going to see what his item is. If he's booster speed or what. He is going to be booster, I assume speed. I assume speed. Um, yeah, it is booster speed. Okay, cool. Look at Dark Pulse. Can, okay, so this is this is where it gets a little dicey. We can go we can go into our Iron Moth on this guy, but if he psychics, then we die, obviously. And we also, also don't outspeed. Um, this Greninja looks like it can win. I think I can still beat the Dragonite with Grimmsnarl. Serena's getting a little dicey, but I have an Iron Moth. Also have Scarf Cleavor. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go Water Shuriken and try to get his... He also learns Vacuum Wave, by the way. He also learns Vacuum Wave. I totally forgot about that. Vacuum Wave would kill my Greninja. I'm at 223. I'm at 75%. I should live this. So I think I'm actually going to click Water Shirk in here. We're going to get our damage. We're going to get our damage. Um, I'm very nervous about this play. Um, one, can we get more than two hits, please? Please. Please, give me five. Give me five. We get three. That's fine. He's just going to move Blast and going to kill our Greninja. So we could have went to our Valiant, but then he could have psychic us. So kills Gren. He's at about... Let's just say 45-ish, I believe. Um, we have to go... We are we are AV Tusk. Can we go AV Tusk this turn? And... I think we go AV Tusk, actually, and we save Grimmsnarl for the um, Dragonite. I think we do that. I think that's what we do. Um, oh, this is tricky. This is very tricky. This is very tricky. So I'm going to take a spike, but we do live after a spike. We can also go Grimstorm and just Thunder Wave this guy. I think... Let's see how much Dragonite... We don't want V1 or Dragonite as well because it can learn Hurricane. So I'm going to go Tusk now. Um, we should live anyone hit. We should live anyone hit. We're at 325. Okay, I took way more damage than I thought I did. I'm 88. Okay, I'm still at 88. Um, what we can do here... Iron Valiant. We can't Ice Spinner, which sucks, which does suck. We have to Headlong Rush. Um, if he goes Harden Dragonite, we just click Ice Spinner. We just click Ice Spinner and get our damage off. Um, I believe. But I think you just stay in and attack me. Six Moon Blast. Hopefully we don't die. We don't die and we're going to kill this guy. Nice. Let's go. Down goes the Iron Valiant. Dies to Great Tusk. Okay. This is getting a little dicey. It's getting a little dicey. We have to keep that Grim Snarl for that Dragonite now. Iron Moth also looks nice. Um, but if the Dragonite comes out, we are at minus one defense. Extreme Speed would pick us off. We see Metagross that is going to have to have Bullet Punch. So I think I don't. I don't know. I don't know if we win this. This is getting very dicey. This is getting very dicey, guys. I'm super nervous. I'm super nervous. I shouldn't have sacked my Terra Belly Bolt so soon. Um, and I sh probably shouldn't have sacked off my Greninja either. But I didn't have a switch into that because I can't go Iron Moth. Because if I go Iron Moth, he can Psychic the next turn. And then I can not also I can also not go Cleavor. I forgot I had Cleavor around too. Cleavor might be okay um, for Dragonite as well. But I'm, if this is a Serena, this is going to be Serena. Okay. Um, I don't think this learns any priority. I think what we do here, since it's max HP, 
Max defense. I think we just click CC here and get off as much damage as possible. And we could also rapid spin to get rid of the spike. I don't think that really matters in this sense. So what we're gonna do here, let's go close combat. He probably clicks rapid spin. Does rapid spin kill me on minus one defense? I'm at 35 HP, I assume it does. Yeah, it does. So I just click, I just click close combat. Does Ice Spinner have a chance? Let me see, do I need damage? Yeah, this does 5% more. So we're clicking CC. We do get the CC off. We're gonna do a big chunk, big chunks. We might die, actually we died to Rocky Helmet, I think. Which is better for us. Yeah, okay, so we died to Rocky Helmet. Nice, let's see what he decided, decided to click. I don't think it really matters. Um, kills, Great Tusk, it doesn't matter. Um, we go Iron Moth now. We can also just easily go into our Cleavor. Actually, because Metagross is Metagross is super low. Metagross should die to a Stone Axe. I think we just Stone Axe. Since he's physically defensive. Stone Axe is 37 to 44. Ooh. We might have to click. We might have to click bug type move. I think we go into this. I can also go Iron Moth. But Iron Moth invites in the um Dragonite. Um is Metagross in range? I should have wrote down what Metagross was at. Of a D Gleam. Iron Moth, it is probably. I go Cleavor, I think. I go Cleavor. We're gonna see if I can click Stone Axe. If I can't, that's fine. I click U Turn. Um, it. Uh, we can't click Stone Axe, I don't think. I don't think we can click Stone Axe, guys. Stone Axe does to a physically defensive Serena. Max defense bold. 33 to 40. We. Okay, so we are at 142. We're at 51%. He is probably at about... I think I think I'm clicking Stone Axe here. I'm clicking Stone Axe. I'm clicking Stone Axe. Because even if he kills me, I still have... <sighs> He's saving that Cust app. He's saving Cust app. I think I have to click U-Term and keep this thing alive. I don't know. I think Cust app matters in this sense. We're going to click Stone Axe. We're going to click Stone Axe. Oh, we do... Okay, do we kill? We do kill. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. We get the rocks up as well, which I don't think Metagross is in the range of rocks. If it is, then that is good for us, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Um, dies to Cleavor. Um, I don't think Metagross is in range. I hope. No, it's definitely not. Um, what we do now is we save our Cleavor. We're going to see... Do we? I don't. I don't know if we save our cleavor here. I don't think we do. He's cussed up. It pops now. And we can go Iron Moth and then Lock D Gleam. Yeah. And I, I think I think our Grim Snarl can T Wave it and Spirit Break it. I don't think we die to one move. I think we might lose that Dragonite. We, we're gonna click Stone Axe here, hoping we see no Bull Punch. He, we see a Bull Punch. That's gonna kill us. Yeah. Damn it, I should've went hard Iron Moth. I should've went hard Iron Moth. We see no cuss that. Did that crit matter? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Kills. Cleavor. Damn, we should've went hard Iron Moth. Fuck. Um, we go into this. I think we might lose. I think we might lose now. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Um, we have to hope and pray. Hope and pray. Can we U-turn and kill this thing? Definitely not, right? Definitely not. We do seven to nine. So I think what we have to do here is U-turn and go into our Grim Snarl. Also, okay, we have to play like he's not boots. We have to play like he's not boots. Or if he, if he's, I think we just click D-Gleam. I think we just log D-Gleam. I'm like 90% sure this kills. 20 to 24, we're gonna click D-Gleam. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. If he's not, if he's boots and he's DD, I think he wins this game. I think he wins this game. Sadly, sadly, I think he does. Let's see if he's boots. Um, I think what we'd have to do then is go hard into our Grim Snarl. Is he boots? He is in boots. Oh my gosh, does this not die? Uh, he can extreme speed us, but I don't think it kills us. Forty-seven to fifty-six, and he has to lock it. So I click D-Gleam here. I click D-Gleam here. Let's hope he's not E-Speed, I think. Let's hope he's not banned at E-Speed. We click D-Gleam. Oh my god, does this die? 
Does this not drop? It doesn't. Let's go. We're going to pick up the 2 ow Iron Moth clutching it up for us. GG's the T-Row. Those hurricane misses suck. I do apologize for that. But we get the big dub. We are going to lock playoffs now. Oh, my God. What's a nail biter? Our Iron Moth has been so good for us this season. Um, no boots. It was really, really clutched up for us. Us clicking Sonax, I think, won us that game. Um, but, yeah. Dies to Iron Moth. I'm so excited that I won that game. Oh, my God. I got a really dicey, great game to T-Row. Great game to T-Row. He put me in a lot of bad, bad situations. He's a great, he is a great battler. Make sure you check him out in the description down below and check out all the other battlers. Coaches. Jesus, I'm all discombobulated. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, GG's to T-Row. I say like I said more than anything on this planet. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.